Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back in my little onesie because I like it and it's comfortable. But I'm back with a real short story today. I don't really want to spend too much time on this one. I just want to, I'm mainly doing this video because I want to spread some awareness. And may, but mainly to hear your opinions, like my subscribers, my loyal juice heads. What do you think about all this? What do you think about this? Because I personally think this is minor, but we're going to get into this. So without further ado, please hit the like button for me. It really helps me grow the channel. Please subscribe if you're new. There's a lot of people that watch me that isn't so that aren't subscribed. So please subscribe for me to me, for me, sorry. And um, yeah, hit the bell to be notified. And once again, thank you to all my subscribers, old and new, because literally at like, last week, at the start of the year, we're on 8,000. Now we're on 16,000. Do you know what I'm saying? This is an absolute madness. I'm so grateful. So, so grateful. So thank you. Now, excuse me, as you can see from the title here, Sainsbury's and Morrison's have both made it compulsory to wear masks in their stores. And that's it. That's pretty much the news that like these two stores have made it compulsory. But the reason why I'm doing a video on it is because I don't know, like some people are like, this is like splitting people in half. You got one side of the argument who believe that, ah, oh, you know, this is kind of like, ah, oh, coronavirus isn't, you know, it isn't that serious or whatever. Ah, oh, they're taking away my rights. I should be able to, I shouldn't have to wear a mask, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you got other people um, who believe that it's not really a big, not much of a big deal. Let's just do what we can to get it gone, X, Y, Z. Now I fall in this category. I used to fall in this category. I now fall in this category. I personally yeah, believe that wearing a mask in, in, in Morrison's or Sainsbury's, whatever, if they're making you wear it, is that, is that really a big deal? Like, is it really a big deal? Are you gonna die? Like, are you, are you are, are, is, is it really, is it, are, are you really compromising your integrity? Are you really compromising your human rights if you don't wear a mask in a shop for 10 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Or when I go Morrison's, I'm in there for two minutes. Like I, I do look a one, two, I might grab a little something. Like that's not much of a big deal. At most, you're gonna be in there for an hour doing your weekly shop. Is it really a big deal? I'll be honest with you. Since coronavirus, this whole coronavirus pandemic started back in March, 2020, I didn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't buy into it at all. I, like It's a flu at the end of the day. And I still stand by that. It is a flu. You've got uh, a very extremely high um, chance of, of survival. There was a lot of things that I thought could take priority. Like suit, there was more suicide deaths at some point. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of things, the, the numbers were inflated. So I wasn't buying it. They were saying that so-and-so's dying. This, all these people are dying from, from coronavirus when actually they died of a car accident, but they had coronavirus at the time and they put it as coronavirus. Like the government were inflated numbers by 1.3 million. So the point I'm trying to make is I wasn't buying it. They're telling me that they're telling me that coronavirus is soared, but I'm not. I didn't know no one. I didn't know a damn soul, and I'm not exactly like I know a lot of people. I'm bait in the ends. People will know me in the ends. I know a lot of people in the ends, so I didn't know no one. They didn't. None of my friends knew no one. None of their friends knew no one. So based on that, it was all bollocks. Now, since this new strain has come out, I hold my hands up and say, listen, I no longer fall into that category. I believe it is spreading faster and more rapid now. And, that, and, and the evidence is clear. I now know a hell of a lot of people that have got it. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? And that's, it's that simple to me. You know what I'm saying? As in, for a year, it, the numbers were clearly inflated and the numbers weren't adding up. In my mind, they are now. In the last three weeks, I could probably name 15, 20, 25, 30 people, to be honest, that I know, that I personally know have had it. Not to mention, I've actually come in contact in and with around some of them, you know, a week before they had it, a week after they had it, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Not actually while they've had it. And I've never had it, I ain't caught a whiff, and I personally believe that's just due to my immune system. I think my immune system's strong enough to, I've never had a flu in my life, so that's also why I didn't really, I wasn't really scared of it. But it's very selfish, just because my immune system's good and I believe that I either had it or whatever, or I'm not, just, I don't really get affected by it. It's selfish of me to continue living a life where I'm not taking it seriously because I could infect other people, I could infect my family, I could infect people around me. So, as time's gone on and we're now in January 2021, it's clear that it is spreading a lot more. So, wearing a mask in a supermarket makes sense because if we're on, if we're in tier five lockdown, for example, yeah, but the numbers are still going up, but pubs are still shut, X, Y, Z are still shut, you know what I'm saying? Then clearly supermarkets are gonna be the hotbed for, um, Transmission. If you're transmitting viruses, it's going to be a, like supermarkets are going to be a hotbed for that because they're the only things open. 
mainly. And you can't shut them as well. They're, in, they're imperative. You can't shut supermarkets. We need to live, we need to eat, we need to survive, we need to drink. So they are, they're needed. So if these supermarkets are remaining open, is wearing a mask around them that big a deal personally? I don't think so. Not to mention, yeah, you have to be considerate of the people that work there. Now, I'm fortunate. I'm in bed. I, my work is is from here. You, I'm working right now. You know what I'm saying? And my work is here. So I don't I don't have to be exposed to people. At best, you know, my brethren comes around my yard and we gym together. That's fine. You know, I, I know he ain't got it. Okay, I'm mingling with one person outside of a household. We work out together. That's fine. I'm not really out here working, coming in contact with money, coming in contact with food, coming in contact with other people. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to be considerate of the people that work there as well. Because if I was working there, I would really be expecting people that come in to wear their masks and respect me and respect everyone else. And that's what I think the thing is, even when I didn't buy the numbers, I still wasn't out here moving wild. Most of the time I was wearing my mask, 70% of the time I was wearing my mask. And 100% of the time I was only in contact with my close dogs who I knew never had nothing. We're in contact every day, you know, on social media, or on, on WhatsApp, they're doing tests, I know they ain't got it. So I was always being sensible, even in March, April, May last year, I was only I was playing football with my boys during quarantine. But we ain't flipping, handshaking and kissing each other, are we? We're playing football. So we link up, don't even have to spot each other, just link up, well, go on, passing the ball, booting the ball. So even then you can be sensible, but now, since we're in tier five, it just makes sense just to be a little bit, a, a, a bit more sensible. Because the sooner we get this done, the better. The so as soon, as soon, as soon as this is done, we, we get back to normality. I don't know about you guys, but I've got intentions of leaving this country for holidays this year, 100%. So. You know, I'm not forcing no agendas. I'm not saying that coronavirus is, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's like cancer, it's like cancer. I don't believe it's that serious if I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't. And now a lot of people are gonna, a lot of people are gonna cuss me for that. Oh, say that to all the people that died. Say that to, okay, yeah, oh yeah, I know all the, I know all the comebacks you're gonna say. Yeah, 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 I heard, I heard it all the time. But I still don't believe it's that serious in terms of, it is a flu. It is a flu at the end of the day. Um, yes, it's serious if you've got underlying health issues, but so is a lot of things. So is, you know, AIDS, for example, which is now calm. You know, you can live a long, healthy life with AIDS, but if you've got underlying health issues, AIDS and HIV de destroys you as well. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that hurt you if you've already got underlying health issues. Flu does, really and truly. So, you know, at the end of the day, the only reason it's, it's so serious is because it's a, it's a flu, but it's on a global level, in my opinion. It's a flu, it's a global, it's a global wide flu essentially um, and a lot of people are panicking and a lot of people have used this to tighten control in certain areas in my opinion but at the end of the day I still hold my hands up it is spreading a lot more than I believed it was at the start of, at the start of this whole pandemic and the sooner we get this done the better I'm, I'm 25 years old I'm turning tw I'm turning 26 in March this is my kind of I don't really want to waste my 20s I'm mid 20s this is kind of my my peak here so yeah Soon we get back to this normality, the better. But anyway, let me know what you think below, guys. Anybody to be notified, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and all of that, all of that, all of that. And um, I'll see you soon.